Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created a custom family. Uh, in this video, we are going to use shared parameters. So first, let's see how these two families, the door custom and the five feet door work in a Revit project. So I'm going to open a new project. I'm going to go with Imperial default. Uh, OK. I would like to change the units in length to be inches, three decimal places, and a symbol. OK, let's have a wall here. So first, I'm going to import uh, the custom door. So I'm going to go with load into project, to project 3 here, the new one that we just created. I'm going to put this here. Let's go to 3D. Uh, so if I go to edit type, I see a lot of parameters here while I only need height and width because the other four uh, are automatically being calculated based on height and width so I should not see them here right for the user's perspective there is no need to see these four parameters so if we go to this family I need to go here and for panel height I need to edit parameter put it on instance. When it's an instance, you don't see it in the type properties when it's imported into Revit file anymore. Uh, and you see it change that into default. So that is now correct. Instance. We need instance here too. And we need instance here too. So this is now good. OK, I'm going to load this into project, project 3, right? And overwrite existing. If I select the door now, the only two parameters that you see are the height and width. So this is now good. And the user can change them, of course. Uh, for instance, if they change the height to like 92 inches, all the panels also adjust in height. Now, uh, I want to also import the 5 foot door load into project, project 3. I'm going to put it here. Now, if I go here, there are still parameters here, but the user is not supposed to be able to change this because it's a fixed size. So what can I do? I'll go back here to the parameters. You see the height and width, uh, you cannot actually change them uh, because they are like system parameters already defined in Revit. But what you can do is that copy that into formulas and copy the width into formulas now they will become grayed out. So if I go to apply, OK. If I load into project, OK. Override. Now if we check it, they are grayed out so the user cannot change it. And that's how it's supposed to be because it's a fixed door. Right now, uh, next thing I want to talk about is the door schedule and how we can show some of the parameters that we created in the door schedule. So let's go with the door schedule. I want to know the number of each item. I want to know the type. There are some things that's already here, such as the height and width. So width can go here, height can go here. Okay. So everything looks good here. But now let's say, what if I want to get the dimensions of the screen? So let's say when we have 100 doors in the project, we know what's the area of the screen and how much we need to pay, right? So if I want to do that, I actually need something called that shared parameter, which works in both Revit family and Revit project file. You can create it either in family or in project, but there is a difference. If I try to make one here, if I create a new parameter, go to shared, I can only select the existing Word files that I have for other shared parameters. So I don't want to use that. I'll go to the project. Under manage, we have shared parameters. Uh, OK. And I want to create a new one. So this one also allows to create. And I want to create shared parameters doors, txt file. OK. Now we're going to create a new group. I want to name it as screen underline screen size. 
and I, I need three parameters here. One of them is a screen, underline uh, sheet, underline length, and the type is the length, of course. Everything looks good here. So I'll go with OK. And another one I want to go with is actually a screen, underline sheet, underline width. The reason I'm using underline is that actually I don't go with dashes because then it's going to think that it's a math thing. Uh, you cannot use it. And I don't want to go with a space. Sometimes that causes problems. So I'll go with this. Uh, I might add a new one uh, later as well. But let's continue with these two. Uh, I'm going to say OK. Now, we also need to do something in the family here. We need to create them here as well. So I'll go to new parameter, share parameters, select. Now that file is selected, I can just assign uh, width and length. So I'll go with width, OK. And uh, for share parameters, in this case, actually, if you want to assign a formula you need to go with instance let me show you if it's on type what happens okay so that is now added here for the width of the sheet uh, if you remember from previous videos the sheet has an offset of two inches so the width of the screen inside is the width of the screen minus four inches so i want to put an equation here i want to go with screen underline width minus four inches hit apply it's telling me that the type does not exactly work here so that means i need to go here modify this and put it on instance so it will allow us to uh, put the equation here so i'll make a new one select this time we go with uh, with the length we did the width already so we are good instance okay for the length, that's uh, the height of the screen, minus two, minus three and a half. So I want to go with screen, underline height, minus two, minus three and a half. Apply, OK. Uh, that's good. Now I want to load this into project. OK, override existing. Uh, if I go to my project parameters, I need to create a new one here too. So I want to add a shared parameter here. Select it. Let's say I want to go with width first. Where is it going to show? It's going to show in the door. So select doors. And it's a dimension thing. Everything looks good. I'm going to say OK here. We can also go with type I guess okay and I want to add another one again a shared one and we're gonna select the length okay doors type let's see how it works now okay let me show you something in uh, project parameters when we want to add one when I go with shared you see it says it can be shared by projects and families also it appears in the schedules and tags so that means if I now go to my door schedule, if I go to edit, I should be able to find that screen sheet width and length here as well, right? These two were not here, they are defined now. So if I say OK, it's going to read the parameter from the family and put it here. Now, why do I see it for the custom door, but for the five feet door, I don't see that because we actually did not do it over there. So again, for the five foot door, we need to go to family types. We need to create a new parameter, which is shared, select. We need to create width. I want to say OK. As you notice, this has to be instance in this case and for the width is actually uh, here if I go here you remember that the uh, screen width was uh, that number 
the width of the door plus five uh, plus point five inches divided by two plus three fourths. So I should go with here. Uh, I want to go with width. Actually, I need parentheses plus point five divided by two. First, I'm getting the size of the width of the screen plus 0.75. So now this is the size of the screen and then I need to reduce 4 inches from the size so I get just the uh, width of the uh, panel sheet. So uh, it's the panel width minus 4 inches. That looks good. I need to hit apply. Everything looks good. And for the height parameter, I can go here, get the length actually. It's going to be instance. OK. Now again, I need to uh, go with the height, which is the height minus 2 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to go with height minus 2 and 3 eighths minus two and minus three and a half. So minus two minus three and a half. I'm gonna hit apply. Everything looks good here. Let's say okay. And now I wanna load this into project. Okay. Override existing. And if you go to the door schedule, now you see these two numbers also show here. Uh, the reason you don't see the size of the sheet here is that they were defined as instance, so you don't see them and you don't actually need to see them uh, because you should not be able to change them. They are calculated automatically, but you have to see them in the schedule. So now if I want to uh, get something such as area, I can do it here actually. Uh, now I want to go to insert. I want to... Uh, go to add a calculated parameter. I'm going to name it as screen underline area and uh, I can select the width multiplied by length. OK. OK. Actually, I think I need to change the type to area. OK and OK. And now that's in a square feet. Uh, that's because if I go to UN the area is in square feet. Of course, you can change it to square inches if you want with maybe three decimal places, door schedule, or maybe you can go with a square feet. And uh, you can have the total number here by going to formatting, a screen area, calculate totals. And actually, for that to work, I also need to go here and grant totals here. Okay. So now you see the total area is this number. Actually, I think it's better if I change the units for area back to a square feet and three decimal places. So now in the schedule, it's 29 square feet of a screen area. If you have a cost, you can also add another column here to get the cost. If you have like 100 doors here, this is going to be very helpful uh, for cost analysis and quantity takeoff so you don't have to calculate it uh, one by one later. Uh, finally, I want to tag these two. So if I go to annotate tag by category, first I need to lock the 3D view, 3D view locked. And then I want to go with tag by category, tag this door here and tag this door here. And now if I go to the schedule, if I want to show which tag is which door, I can go to edit. I can bring mark. Mark is the thing which the tag is based on. So I can put the mark on that side. I want to move it up so it's right um, at the top maybe. Okay, now this looks better. So door one, which is tagged here, uh, is the custom door. And this is the area of the screen that we need. Door 2 is this one. And uh, this is a nice way of uh, presentation.